So let's get right to it and dig into our first ticker today, Boeing. The stock is slightly lower today as the company reportedly has a software fix ready for the 737 MAX jet. This is coming as a Senate hearing on the state of the airline safety uh, in terms of the industry is scheduled to begin in under an hour. The meeting is going to include the acting head of the FAA and the Transportation Expe Inspector General. Yahoo Finance's Jessica Smith spoke with Senator Ted Cruz today, who is leading today's hearing. Watch this. The FAA was one of the last um, regulatory bodies across the world to ground this fleet. I, I think that, that, that raises concerns when you've got most of the developed world who's made the decision to ground these fleets. Um, I fully expect follow-up steps to be hearing from industry representatives, hearing from Boeing, hearing from the airlines. Yahoo Finance's Emily McCormick is here with me. Emily, um, Ted Cruz brings up a great point when he says we were the last in the United States to ground this plane. There are some big safety concerns. What do you think we'll hear today uh, on Capitol Hill? Yeah, well, we actually did already hear a little bit of something this morning with the Senate Appropriations Committee. Uh, they actually held a hearing with Elaine Chow. She's the uh, you know head of the Department of Transportation. And that was really supposed to be uh, a committee meeting about the budget for that department. But it ended up actually kind of pivoting to the FAA and the oversight of Boeing and the certification of the 737 MAX hearing. Uh, so I think we are going to be hearing a lot more uh, just grilling on that part from Daniel Elwell, the acting head of the FAA, later today at 3 p.m. when this next Senate committee uh, convenes. And it's interesting because a Boeing MAX 8 jet made an emergency landing after reporting an engine problem yesterday, did not have passengers on That's it. Right. But this is, it's an ongoing saga. That's right. So that was a Southwest uh, Airlines flight that was actually uh, grounded, you know, made that emergency landing. Uh, again, that wasn't actually related to the software upgrade and that same software uh, issue that they feel was connected to these two crashes that we saw. Right. This was an engine problem. Exactly. But either way. Exactly. So <laughs> I don't want a problem with the engine either. Right. So we did see the uh, stock trading lower in late trading yesterday, just uh, on concerns of that. Uh, so we didn't really see that alleviate even hearing that it wasn't related to the same software mm -hmm. fix. But uh, Boeing is actually expected to preview that fix today in its Renton, Washington facility. So CNBC was reporting that there are really four main fixes that we're seeing. So that's an update to limit the corrections that the aircraft's maneuvering characteristics augmentation system can actually uh, implement. The second is adding two new angle of attack sensors. Third is the addition of cockpit alerts. And then finally, updated training for pilots. CNBC also said that one pilot said that they do feel that these changes might be enough to get the 737 MAX 8 back in the air. And that's going to be really key for And Boeing. that is going to be key because not just for Boeing, but also for the airlines who operate these planes, for example, like Southwest. That's right. So Southwest actually did cut its sales guidance for the current quarter ending in March because of these groundings. And remember that Southwest has the largest fleet of American Airlines uh, with 34 of the 737 MAX. They only uh, exclusively fly the 737s. Uh, so that really is a major part of the company and then being able to you know, deliver on their bottom line. Everyone is talking about Boeing also in terms of lost revenue, sales, impact. The analysts saying that the software fix would, would come quicker, that it wasn't necessarily uh, detrimental for the stock. City actually uh, coming back on this stock with a buy and saying this is what they call a manageable fix. Yeah, and that's something that some other analysts have been saying is maybe, you know, from the business standpoint now, is it a good time to get into the stock just because there has been this pullback and they're showing they're being proactive in implementing some of these fixes. Um, again, any road bumps to that would pretty much put a dent in that investment thesis, however. So I think it's something that investors need to really consider uh, all sides of. One quick point I want to make and, and ask you about as well, since you've been covering this story so well. Um, it's not just an issue for Boeing of, of lost profits, potential, you know, bookings, revenues uh, of sales. But what about liability? for the, what happened in these crashes. Yeah, well, we have to remember that in mid-March, Norwegian Airlines actually came out and said, hey, we're actually going to pass off these costs of, of this lost revenue from some of the flight cancellations that we're going to have onto Boeing itself, and they were the first airline to do that. Now, Norwegian only has about 1% of its flight capacity coming from the Boeing 737 MAX. Southwest is about 4.5%, so that's a lot more. But we will probably see other airlines coming out and saying, hey, you know, you're going to have to make up for these lost right. profits. So the story, not it, over. It doesn't definitely end Definitely not even near. Okay. Okay, we'll be watching this afternoon as well. Thank you, Emily. We'll see you later.